Besides researching the Cold Marine, Kelsey DeFord has researched other heroes of the American Revolution. Dr. Joseph Warren was a medical doctor who served in Boston, Massachusetts. And Warren was specifically important. A lot of people say the Sons of Liberty didn't really have a ringleader, but he was very much involved and very a notable member. He was the Serbish president for the Third Provincial Congress in Massachusetts. He was actually um, fought in battles of Lexington Concord. And he, before the Battle of Bunker Hill, there was, the Congress had made him a major general, even though he has no military experience whatsoever, they made him a major general. So here he is on Bunker Hill, and they said, we need you to lead us. And he says, no, I'm a volunteer. I'm like the rest of you. I have no military experiences. So I'm just going to fight with the rest, rest of you. And unfortunately, um, he had a bullet through his head at, at the Battle of Bunker Hill. And, um, he was considered a martyr for the American Revolution. A lot of people say without him, there wouldn't be American Revolution. What about Salem Poor? He was a slave from Massachusetts, and um, he had actually bought his freedom. He bought it for 27 pounds. Not that you were looked, you know, any less different with, you know, your freedom bought. But, again, like, he fought with um, Major Joseph Warren at the Battle of Murphy Hill. And a lot of people credit him with shooting a prominent colonel that was leading the um, one of the attacks. A lot of people, like he had 14 officers compliment him on his valor and bravery at that battle. Slaves during this time had to make a choice, you know, who do I fight for, the Americans or the British? And it made it more difficult when Lord Dunmore called, he made a document called Lord Dunmore. Lord Dunmore's Proclamation, which means, hey, if you fight for the British, we're going to give you your freedom. You know, whatever that entails. So it's it's strange seeing that even when that was passed, he stuck with the American Revolution, with the American side. And he actually fought at the Battle of, White Plain, Battle of White Plains, and he also stayed with Washington at Valley Forge. Elizabeth Bergen was a woman who helped prisoners escape from the prison ships, most notably the Jersey. And what these things were, they're basically rotting hunks of wood sitting in New York Harbor. Conditions are deplorable, you know, you're, there's no restrooms in the hole, in the hell hole you're in. There's no, real, not really many nourishment, no food. And it's estimated that maybe 8,000 people died on these ships, which is a lot more than casualties in the American Revolution. And what she did is, um, she supposedly helped um, 200 people escape from the prison ships. No one knows how. They probably assume that they probably drugged one of the guards at night and then um, got him in boats and rowed him to shore. But um, when the British figured out what she was doing, they put a hit out on her. So they took her possessions and she had to leave. And she wrote to Washington saying that she needed help. And in 1781, she was granted pension by the Congress for her actions.